LCS Week 8 here today with Poe Belter, Eugene Park, Eugene Poe Belter Park for Memorial. So you guys switched houses recently. We have, and our new house is really nice. House tour? I guess, yeah. Okay, boom. That's all I needed. We're just going to do this interview. I just need that commitment. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the new house. Um, well, it's really big. It's really nice. Yeah. Do you have your own room? Yeah, I do. Actually, I'm like the only one with my own room because everyone else said they didn't really mind sharing, but I didn't really want to share because yeah. I've shared on like every team I've been on, and it's kind of nice to not be around people 24 yeah. hours a day. You would think that that, you know, actually being able to take a break from people would help. Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. Well, that's good. Now, you guys lost last week. Uh, I'm sure that's what you wanted me to talk about to bring up here. Oh, yeah. So you lost to CLG, then they beat Cloud9, then they went to Katowice and didn't look very strong. Uh, as someone who was formerly on CLG and lost to them, now in Immortals, can you talk to me a little bit about that experience of why you think you lost to them and then why you think that they sucked at IM? Uh, well, the reason that we lost was because Darshan was playing Fiora and he got like three kills early on. And then once that happens, it's like already very extremely hard to win because Fiora with a few kills is just a sort of champion that will just take over the entire game. Like we always say, don't feed Fiora any kills. If we feed Fiora kills, it's fucking yeah uh we fed her kills and then they had leblanc and i was playing lux and usually i'm used to just winning that matchup 1v1 but he was roaming a lot and aframu was also playing in the river so i couldn't really even though who he was roaming a lot to bottom i couldn't exert any pressure because aframu was also roaming and we had soraka so it was sort of like we were being pressured really hard mid and bot with no way to respond so Part of that was just because we fed Darshan three kills early on, so he had an extreme amount of pressure. Part of that was the picks and bans. Uh, but we learned a lot from it, I guess. Uh, it wasn't all just picks and bans and that early mistake. We still could have came back, I think, if we had played more aggressively. But, I mean, that's basically what happened. Uh, and then, what you got ahead. And then CLG went on, and then they, they performed pretty poorly at Katowice. Why do you think that was? I didn't watch most of their games, to be honest. Yeah, I can't really remember any of them. Who did they play? Fnatic? Yes. Oh, yeah, I just remember hearing that they were pretty ahead with Fnatic and they threw. Um, so, yeah, I guess I can't really give too much yeah. of an opinion on that's it. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, I w maybe you, ha you have a general statement. Actually, I don't know. I was going to say maybe you have a general statement as to why CLG struggles at international events, but maybe it was just a specific thing for them this time around. How about you guys going back to kind of your loss against CLG? What was the mood? Uh, because you guys had this win streak. You hadn't said this, but some of the other members on the team were like, undefeated, baby. We're going to go undefeated this split. Fnatic again, blah, blah, blah. Uh, how did everyone handle the loss? Everyone, like, no one got super emo or depressed about it. We've all had really horrifyingly crushing losses before, so we're all used to it. And that wasn't even, like, that bad of a loss, honestly. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we just talked about what went wrong, what we can do to fix going forward, like any other team would, I hope. And then, yeah, I guess we just fix some of our mistakes that they exposed that we haven't really had happen to us that much. You only have three more games left in the split. Are you going to gonna only lose one, the whole thing? I hope so. I mean, we're trying really hard to win every game. Yeah. Even though we did lose a game, it's not like the world is over. So we're still trying really hard to win every game. Now, what's interesting to me is that you will, after, as you head into playoffs, the team will now, for the first time, play something that isn't a best of one. Do you think that that's going to be different or difficult for the team, or is that a change at all, or do you feel like it's just standard and you're not even worrying about it? We're not worried about it. Uh, we've all played plenty of best of fives before. We're all veterans. Um, actually, something I see a lot is that we're really one-dimensional, like when I read comments and, like, yeah. tweets and stuff and people i mean people have said that in interviews is that like i did an interview with lemon a while back where he said that you guys just um lane win game and that's like your one thing so I, people do kind of have a, at least a, in general a sense that you guys only do one thing and then win i don't really agree uh i think we're probably definitely better at just on everyone <laughs> like right yeah. off the bat than playing the really slow game but actually we played the slow game today we had like three scaling picks and it went pretty well today. So I would not say that we will be like exposed in a best of five or anything. Yeah. Do you, how sure do you feel about going to Shanghai? Pretty confident, yeah. Yeah. Seems like you're, you're best. 
I, I was a little uh, disappointed that you guys didn't have a chance to go to Katowice and kind of get that international experience ahead of time because I think that that would have been interesting. But do, has the team talked at all? I mean, obviously you're focused on the LCS, but has the team talked at all about what it would be like to go up against international teams or face other regions? Yeah, I mean, we talk about it. Uh, we watch LCK in our free time sometimes if it's on. Uh, the ULCS, all the other leagues. So, you know, we talk about like, oh, what do you think? Is the weakness of this team? This team does this really well. Right. Should we play maybe the same thing these guys are playing? Stuff like that. Very good. Well, sounds like you you guys continue to stay really confident even after the loss. Of course, it's only one loss, but you never know with a team that's doing really well what happens whenever they lose. Is there anything that you would like to say to any of the Immortals fans out there? Uh, gee, I don't know. Thanks for supporting us, guys, especially the ones from the start who really like the team not because we we're kind of crushing everyone but you know because you liked us for whatever reason maybe while turtles your favorite player or something but uh yeah thanks guys for everyone else this is yahoo esports sports sports sports